coming from a guy who sells oil, it's a strange take, but I am for uh, cheaper electricity, uh, reusable energy, and uh, solar power. That's all there is to it. Well, our community, we're, we're on diesel. And diesel, as, as, as we all know, diesel fuel prices are not going down, they're, going, they're, they're constantly on the rise. It's just fuel prices are keeping our, our utility rates high. We, we pay probably like 10 times more than the rest of the people in the lower 48 in the United States. Some, some light bills run up to $1,200. Um, just in how people pay that here when you have no jobs here. It's just mind boggling. It's a demonstration project, so we're working on one house and we're seeing what the possibilities are with that one house. And right now we're doing a Peggy and Kelly Williams house and we're installing solar panels and doing weatherization, making some other improvements and we're going to see what the possibilities are after that project is over and see if you know, solar energy can be done here in a rural community in Alaska. We call it the green workforce. You know, the, the new workforce for tomorrow is going to be a green workforce. It's not going to be that. The, the, the diesel dinosaur mechanics of old, it's going to, be, going to be people maintaining solar panels and wind turbines and hydroelectric projects and, and the utility lines that go with them. Well, we're very interested in, in renewable energy um, and you know when you compare it to diesel and I just don't think that, that oil is going to get any cheaper. I think it's, you know, it's probably just going to keep going up and up as, as it becomes more and more scarce. Well, we've always been looking at renewable energy as a solution to the problem, you know, for, uh, for the high cost of energy. Um, there's been a, a group of guys here that have been looking at it on the internet and they're, they're all excited and they say, let's try this. And then there's another group saying it will never work. So this is kind of going to weigh it out for us. You know, this, this will either show them it does work or, yeah, you are right, it doesn't work. time that outside insulation technique has been done in Angoon and that's like your house puts on a coat of insulation outside the structure of the house. You don't have to go in the walls or in the roof or anything. It's like putting a nice down coat on. for a little bit of Tom Floyd.
by doing this, you're you're adding hope to what we already know could be. I mean, that that this renewable energy could have a positive impact here in Angola if it works. And that's all we've ever been looking for is solutions to problems, and this has the potential of being a really good solution to a major problem. The energy savings from this bulb are worth $1,000 in Angoon with the, with the energy price you pay. So by changing out one of these bulbs for one of these, these bulbs cost about $30. They're expensive, but it's worth $1,000. It's the only way to go. I don't think that the oil industry is really going to give up their grip on the world. But eventually, we have to win. In order to save our Earth, like they say, you know, progress isn't really all that great in the long run. We've destroyed a lot of things by the dollar. The power of the dollar has destroyed a lot of things. Now, it's going to cost a lot of generations A lot of the time and expertise to give to get back Mother Earth. Are we going to succeed? Are we going to succeed? There's a lot of minds we have to change within everybody's lifetime so that our grandchildren can enjoy this earth. Thank you.